Have you thought about expressing proteins in mammalian cells? This video will provide a quick overview on how to set up your lab for mammalian transient protein expression. The CDC and NIH recommend working with most mammalian cell lines under Biosafety Level 2 containment. You should review the biosafety guidelines that apply at your institution. Under Biosafety Level 2, you will need to work with your cells inside a biosafety cabinet. You will also need a cell culture incubator. Most mammalian cells grow well at a pH around 7.2 to 7.4 and a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. The carbon dioxide range is 5% to 10%. We recommend 8%. Unlike bacteria or insect cells, mammalian cells require a high humidity CO2 incubator to control evaporation and maintain culture pH. For traditional adherent cell cultures, you can use tea flasks or other tissue cultured treated dishes in this type of incubator. Larger scale protein expression is typically done in suspension culture systems. And for this type of work, you will need a shaker platform. The shaking motion will keep suspension adapted cells in suspension and will also ensure proper gas exchange. Many protocols are based on a shaker platform with an orbit or horizontal throw of 0.75 inches or 19 millimeters. If you use a different type of platform, you will need to adjust the speed settings accordingly. Here's a tip. Check the dimensions of your incubator before you order a shaker platform. Some platforms are actually too large to fit inside an incubator. Also, recalibrate the incubator temperature after installing the shaker since shakers generate heat. Suspension cells are typically grown in sterile Erlenmeyer cell culture flasks. We recommend vent cap flasks, as these will allow for gas exchange while also keeping the flask sealed against any contamination. You can also use non-vented caps, as long as you loosen the caps. Another tip is to only fill each flask to 20 to 40 percent of the rated capacity, as this will allow for adequate mixing and gas exchange. A shaker setting of about 125 RPM will work well for most standard flask sizes. You should optimize the exact shaker speed based on your own culture system and shaker setup. Here's another tip. Try lining your shaker platform with some sticky tape instead of the traditional flask clamps. This will make it easier to remove flasks and also to change the size and configuration of the flasks. Last but not least, you will need some cells to transfect. Most commonly used cell lines for protein expression work are 293 cells like Freestyle 293F and XB293F cells, and CHO cells, like Freestyle CHO-S cells. Life Technologies offers a range of mammalian transient protein expression systems for functional proteins with appropriate post-translational modifications. Learn more at lifetechnologies.com.